China needed 10 years to successfully develop a new city in its largest desert. American scientists were shot by this crazy, huge project. We all understand that the desert is a lifeless, harsh environment where no one can live since it is entirely covered in sand. People and plants cannot survive in the desert due to the lack of rain, and desert greening has become a widespread issue worldwide. Given this, why is China going backwards by relocating people to the desert to live there? Also, what kind of lifestyle do these people lead in the desert? One of the nations with the largest distribution of desert areas and the greatest risk of desertification is China. The Taklamakan Desert is the most well-known in China. This miracle city is built in the hinterland of this desert. This small city is also China's only desert city. There are 20,000 people living here. They come from different cities in China and move here because this desert has a lot of oil resources. In order to extract oil, they had to move to the desert to live. Surviving in the desert will certainly face huge challenges, which is really admirable because this desert is one of the hottest and lowest places on Earth. This desert is one of the miracle cities. I, the minimum annual precipitation is only 4 to 5 millimeters, while the average annual precipitation does not exceed 100 millimeters. In summer, the temperature can reach as high as 67 degrees Celsius. They have lived in the desert city for seven years, and they have also become the first batch of sand control people. So how much oil is there? China is a large oil demanding country, and the majority of the oil is imported from other countries, which is very expensive. Since 1950s, China has persevered for decades before finally making progress in 1984. As much as 7.5 billion metric tons of oil are contained in the field reserves. If China does not import oil, this oil will be plenty for China to use for 10 years. As a result, they must extract oil here, but they want to be in this desert, where it is extremely difficult to do so, and where the largest area of quicksand in the world lies, full of mystery and fanciful tales. Because of the accumulation of yellow sand, howling winds, and lack of water resources, people refer to this desert as the Sea of Death. In the earliest days, there was no road to the outside world to allow large-scale equipment for exploration and development to enter the desert hinterland, and the oil and gas extracted could be smoothly transported out of the desert, so people lived here, and the water source could only be transported from the outside to determine the drinking water problem the city folk made the decision to enter the Sea of Death, build several roads to the outside world. Starting in 1990, China took five years to build the first road of more than 500 kilometers, running through the desert from north to south. Since then, the length of the road has been constantly extended and branch roads to ensure the development of oil and gas fields have also appeared. In the next 10 years, China will build four additional roads to the outside world in this desert. Now this desert has five roads leading to the outside world. This desert now has five roads leading 20,000 people reside here, making sand control the second issue that needs to be resolved. If the sand and dust issue is not resolved, this city, which took 10 years to construct, will soon be buried by quicksand. In order to give residents of this city a healthy living environment and prevent the roads on both sides of the desert from being buried by quicksand, the residents will also experience a health crisis as a result of the sandstorm and will eventually die in 2000. In order to protect the road, wait, don't be a stranger. Hit the subscribe button and join our online family. China started organizing personnel to carry out large-scale sand prevention and control, making the desert greening the second task of oil workers here. To fix the sand, they used measures like artificially weaving hay into squares and planting them in the desert, radiating more than 100 meters on both sides of the road and then using geotextiles to stand in the middle of the grass squares to form a partition and plant trees. The entire green belt uses strip irrigation technology, and every two kilometers, an irrigation booster station is installed and has been maintained for many years by forest rangers. After years of research, researchers selected four plant types that are suitable for living in the desert for more than 70 types of plants that are resistant to high temperature, wind, and sand populus euphratica, which was planted in the desert 20 years ago, has now grown into a towering tree. Residents no longer face the yellow sand in the sky, and they begin to see green vitality here. These remaining plants effectively slowed the flow of the desert on both sides of the road and effectively blocked quicksand's repeated harassment of the road. In the Tacoma Con Desert, green plants with a width of more than 70 meters have been planted on both sides, 
with a total area of more than 3,500 hectares. Since 2003, the Protection Forest Ecological Project has been implemented on both sides of the five roads. Excellent plans exist for sand fixation and windbreaks, like jujube and haloxylon additionally. In order to provide plants with enough water sources, the Tacoma Con Desert's hinterland has been planted with 300,000 haloxylon and 20,000 poplar euphratica. After 20 years of sand control work, the Taklamakan Desert is no longer barren and lifeless. Thanks to the installation of tens of thousands of kilometers of water supply, pipelines on both sides of the road, and the construction of solar water supply stations that allow 86 photovoltaic power stations to pump water to supply plant water sources and also to protect the greening of well houses. The Taklamakan Desert now has a green corridor after thousands of meters greening work was completed. Large-scale oil exploration and development awaken this mysterious place. In addition to extracting oil from this vast desert, oil workers also help build roads and control sand, resulting in an incredible green miracle. This is a successful example of human endeavor to manage the desert. The Taklamakan Desert, which no one previously visited, is now a popular tourist destination that boosts the local economy and the quality of life in the area. Beautiful vegetation now lines both sides of the desert road, where there were formerly no animals. More than 100 bird species have migrated and settled along the screen channel, and the ecological environment in the desert hinterland has gradually developed as a result of this location's slow expansion of the green promenade. With the change of the desert, more and more people come here to play every day, and the city has become a tourist destination. Scenic spots are becoming more and more lively in the future, and this place will become a well-known tourist attraction. Now that more people are taking part in sand control, the lives of oil workers here are no longer monotonous. People want to give generous support to the desert greening, according to the research of experts. China will also discover an important resource in the Tacoma Con Desert, which is water resources, and this desert will become a suitable place for everyone to live in 2022 as more people. Move here. The amount of water under the desert will be close to 7 billion cubic meters, but current technology makes it necessary to mine in the desert, making access to the water source nearly impossible. If the problem of the desert's water source can be resolved, however, this situation may change in the future, the city will grow even larger.